Welcome back, everybody, to City Skylines, episode number 27. So today we're going to continue trying to tinker with the with the traffic, trying to work out the knots in the giant mess that we've created. Uh, one of the problems you have to try to wrap your brain around when you're playing this game, which is also complicated by the fact that this terrain is really tricky. Probably not suitable for your first big city. But, uh, well, that's just kind of the way I play games. I dive in, and I usually pick something more difficult than I'm ready to handle. Anyway, uh, I'm enjoying our time, so I don't care if it's hard and if I'm basically uh, doing some things wrong, because it's all a big learning experience, and I'm having fun. All right, so off camera, I did a few things. Last time, we did this to Trapezoid Land. We added this really nice detail stuff with all of the footpaths. And people are using it so much uh, that I decided, and it also looks so nice, I really like the way it looks, and it's getting such good use that I decided that I would go ahead and adapt the same look over here in uh, Triangle Town. And I think that looks pretty, pretty good. You can see there's some people walking across there. This is all low density, so there's not as many people living here as over here, so not quite as many people walking around. All right, a little update on the traffic. It's flowing. You can see that it's moving. It's not moving super fast, but at least it's moving now. Uh, I added another exit for the highway here so that people could get out over here instead of coming up through the roundabout uh, if they're over here. Uh, I'm also thinking of changing things to one-lane roads, but I didn't design this place with one-lane roads in, in mind. So I'm only going to do that if I feel like I really have to. Uh, this whole area here is such a mess. I'm thinking of redoing the whole thing. When I first designed it, uh, there was only a few things it had to connect to. There was all these garbage trucks coming in and out. You can see the just the all, all kinds of garbage trucks everywhere coming in and out. Um, so I think what we're going to do as, as sort of a precursor to redesigning this mess... Uh, the traffic is flowing. They're, the big problem here is right here. Um, so we're going to do some redesign of that. And actually, uh, I have kind of a short-term solution I'm thinking of, which may or may not actually help. Um, but okay, so we're going we're gonna to redesign this whole thing. But first, I'm going to move all of the dump truck garbage stuff out of here. And we're going to, instead of having one central place, uh, we're going to have a few areas split around the map to put that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and pause the game. Uh, and then we're going to think about bus depots. I haven't done anything with bus depots yet, but we're going to. We are going to do something with bus depots. Uh, but first, we need to figure out this mess, straighten it out a little, and then figure out a place to put that kind of thing. If I can get all this garbage stuff out of here, I can delete a lot of this road that I don't really need. And then hopefully simplify, just like take a fresh look at the whole system and simplify it. Okay, so these guys down here will hopefully supply uh, Triangle Town and to a certain extent down here as well. Uh, then I'm going to have a number of them over here to hopefully supply Trapezoid Land. And hopefully, well, they're going to, I can't directly tell them where to go. So hopefully it's, um, the, the route is shorter to get to Triangle Town and they don't end up going to a bunch of other places. Okay, so let's just move a bunch of these guys. Uh, and then I'm probably, because we're, we don't have like one central located trash area... Uh, I'm probably just going to have some redundancy in in the, in the form of a lot of extra um, incinerators. That's what they're called. I'm going to have a lot of extra incinerators. At least while we, uh, while we test this system. Uh, I also, off camera, I added a whole bunch of trees. Um, I think trees act as... Let's go ahead and give them just a little bit of space. I think trees act as a... Uh... Oh, you know what we could do? Let's go ahead and start experimenting with one-way roads. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 
Experimentation time. Um, what was I saying? Totally sidetracked myself. Going to... St oh, yeah, I put trees in. Uh, trees, uh, as far as I know, I think they help with noise pollution as sort of a barrier. And they might also, although I'm not sure, help block pollution, although... Uh, all the dead trees in the polluted area seems to defy that theory. But I put a bunch of trees in all over the place. Not primarily for those reasons, but more just as a form of contrast. So that the roads would have a bit more contrast with the background. Uh, the city was getting to look like, well, just one big blob. One big blob of concrete. And I wanted uh, basically the different systems to stand out a bit more. I wanted the highway system to stand out. So now this is very clear. That the highways there, all these trees here create a, a darker, more contrasty border between the highway and the city, where before there was this uh, lighter grass color, which, when you zoom out way like this, it, it sort of blends in with the concrete look, and I, I think that helps. We've got this area of greenery here, this area, this stuff, this stuff. Um, it's still a bit too blobby for my taste, like there could be... A little bit more separation there, for instance. But uh, I think it's an improvement. Okay, so these guys are here. What I want to do is this. Okay, so it is paused. That's fine. Um, oh, that's a pretty steep hill, isn't it? You know what? Uh, we don't need we don't need them to have that many. So let's do this. Boink. Let's set up the next one. And let's move these over here. There we go. Okay, and then we shall take our road tool and do... Oops. Do this. There. Okay, and then I'm going to change them to one-lane roads. Or one-way roads, not one lane. Uh, they probably... I think this has two lanes. Okay, and then I want them going a certain direction... Okay, so the garbage trucks are going to come in on these three lanes, turn right, and continue around in this direction, and this way, there is no traffic lights. So the garbage trucks shouldn't get backed up. They might not be going super fast, but uh, they should... Um... Yo, see that? There they're going already. See how that works? They'll go around the circle. I, I'm going to try to use something similar to this with buses uh, when I set up the bus depot. But I think that'll help with all the garbage trucks coming in and out that they shouldn't ever really have to stop. We shouldn't have any traffic lights. Uh, and I think that's an idea we can work into future city areas. Okay, so there's that. Uh, let me look at this. Okay, now we need we need we definitely need more incinerators. So let's just add a bunch here. Oh, these guys don't have water. If I not add a water... Oh, look at this. <laughs> okay, I thought I did water to everything. Apparently I didn't. Uh, I've got more money than I know what to do with at this point. So let's just... Um, ordinarily, I, I like to do this nice and gritty. Because G-R-I-D-D-Y, not grit Not like grit. Um, because it, it just saves on funds in the long run. And you have less upkeep and more profits. But I'm making money basically faster than I can spend it unless I take the time to plop down some of the really expensive things. Okay, let's unpause so that can... Okay, you don't want to connect there, huh? Probably because it's too steep. Huh? Slope too steep. Oh, you don't want to do anything. You're a malcontent. A ne'er-do-well. Okay, did I uh, give them enough? We're all the way over here. Okay, yes. Okay, so let's just make some extras. This is part of the redundancy. Now, this these guys, um, there's not much space back here. Which is why I decided to put these guys back here. How? What is the upkeep on these, by the way? 1,400 per week. There. And what about power? They produce their own power. That's right. Okay, uh, do I want to connect them up to the grid? Probably wouldn't hurt. Uh, we're not going to have the one-way street system, but this is like a six-lane road just for them, more or less. So I think it probably is going to be okay. Let's see if I can connect directly. 
Can I go under the highway? Let's look under here. Where's the... There we go. There's some support pillars. Can I go under? Anyway, uh, it doesn't want me to go under. Okay, what if we went up and over? Page up, please. Yep. Yep. Page down. And then connect right to that suburb with your trash power. Yes, energize the wood with my trash power. Okay, so there's uh, that guy and this guy. Uh, did I have a third area? I was going to put a few back here. Ooh. Pause the game. How did you get unpowered? All of this is unpowered. Something I moved. Oh, I moved the... Right, okay, so I had a link between uh, my trash heaps and my incinerators, and uh, I broke that. Okay, so we'll continue to use this. This, is this the lone guy here? We need to uh, redo this anyway, so let's move him. Maybe over to here, if there's room. Or I guess we could just delete him and make another, I'm gonna make another dam eventually. Anyway. I would prefer not to connect through here because we're gonna be moving all this stuff anyway. It's gonna be, be disrupted further. So it might be a good idea to connect this trash heap up because all these incinerators aren't connected to the grid either. Okay, there's those guys. And then we need to connect across this. Okay, um, I guess we're going to need to go over this one as well. Hit the B again to turn it off and then hit page up, up and over. I didn't even realize uh, <laughs> you could do these up and over thing with the power lines. I saw Vex play. Um, one thing I like to do, when I play a game, basically any game that I think I will be spending a lot of time with, I normally dive in mostly blind and just experiment a lot and sort of form my own opinions and like I get my own sort of personality in the game. And then I start diving into other people's, like how other people play it to sort of get information Additional information, I, I look up wiki stuff, and uh, I look up stuff on the uh, on Reddit. Different ways to configure things to sort of add to the way I play without uh, just copying someone totally. Okay, I think that's okay then. <laughs> we fix that. Okay, what was I doing? All right, okay, so I was going to add a few incinerators back here. Because uh, they're going to take the shortest route possible, and it's going to take a—it's going to create a lot of traffic going all the way up there. And this area already has a lot of traffic, or not traffic, uh, pollution. So I don't mind adding the incinerators here. I think it's probably going to be fine. So I'll add uh, six. There. How about that? And I think I will give them, like, a an inherent direction. And get rid of that. Okay, and then turn this around so they're only going that away. Boink. Okay, that should help route the traffic. And if I get rid of that, does that get rid of the... Tr no, it does not get rid of the... Uh... Hmm. I bet... I just got rid of that. That would get rid of that traffic light, wouldn't it? Did it get rid of it? No. I'd have to get rid of this. Alright, we don't need this. I'm not doing anything with this anyway, so I may as well get rid of that little road. There we go. What are all these guys doing? They're probably uh, oil tanks, right? Yeah, oil trucks. This is all oil industry. Okay, so uh, my power should be doing good. My incineration status is awesome. That's good. Uh, landfill usage is 41%. I set all those other ones to empty. Water's okay. Electricity's okay. Those guys will all add to my overall electricity, although they don't add a ton. Uh, these are all empty, and so we can't really do anything with these. One thing I could do... Huh. One of the things uh, with putting all these garbage trucks up here is it's going to take a hell of a long time for them to get here all the way down to there. I do need... A trash dump somewhere over here and I don't really have a good spot so what I'm thinking of doing 
is making a bridge over to here and just having a little trash land. Yeah, I... Th the overall traffic here is super light, so I think I can get away with that. Uh, and if that's a problem, we'll just have to think of something else. But I think that's kind of what I need to do. Okay, and then one of the things I don't like about the bridges in this game is they really refuse to be, like, bridgy. They're very unflat. They just follow the terrain. You see, like, what it's doing? It's really don't like that. So let's try making it shorter and see if I can... Yeah, okay, let's uh, delete this, uh, whatever this is. Just so I can see a little bit better. Okay, so right now it's following the terrain. I want it to be mostly flat coming off there, like that. Okay. And then extending here. I guess I don't mind the little bridge suspension thing, because it is actually a bridge. Look at that, perfectly flat. Awesome, that's what I wanted. Uh, and then coming down into here, I will have that page down. There, that looks much nicer than just uh, what we had before. I wonder, has the water levels gotten... Oh, yeah. Do you see this? Okay, so the water level obviously looks lower, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know if this is like a seasonal thing or if like the tide is coming in and out, or I don't know if I'm pulling so much water from the system that it's, it's actively lowering. Uh, operating normally, this guy says. So apparently he's still close enough to the water that that counts. Like he's, I guess he's m pulling it through the mud. Uh, and I have moved them in the past, but I, I guess I will uh, just keep it as it is. It says water availability is fine. So we'll keep it. All right, so let's put some uh, trash trucky guys here. So I want that. There's only going to be trash trucks. That's it back here. So I'm going to basically put it parallel with this little ridge. Kind of like that. And here's here's a great technique. And you need uh, precision engineering. Great technique for making the curve perfect. All right, so you start here, 90 degrees. And then you hold Alt. And you wait for this yellow guideline to pop up. Bam. And then you connect. That will give you a perfect curve between two straight lines. Uh, it almost, almost all the time. Almost all the time, perfect straight line. Okay, so now, so now let's do... The one lane road thing again. Uh, I'm going to start with just normal two lanes because I'm going to... Oh, oh, that's a curve tool. No wonder. I'm going to start with one lanes because uh, I want to put the trash guys here first. And then see if I've got room. Let's give them a little space though. They don't have to be totally cramped. I want to see if I have room to fit two here, or if I've only got room for one. Uh, because we're right on the edge of the terrain there. Okay, that looks like it's going to work. Okay, and then we'll just have to do some... Uh, hmm. Maybe I'll... There we go, like that. Oh, out of city limits. Oh, we're right on the edge. I suppose, you know what I could do? Uh, we could move the road a little bit farther up, and I'll illustrate the, the technique for making good curve once again. So we'll just put this... Yeah, that should, that should be fine. So we'll have it be like that, and we will delete the curve, which looked very nice, but we can make another one. Okay, so here's what you do. Um, you hold down Alt, wait for the guideline, and then you connect it. That's it. Perfect curve. Perfecto. All right, and then do that with... Oh, right. Straight road tool. There, As far as I know, there's no keybinds for that. There really should be. Okay, and then we'll move them all. Like that. We need another road. And I've been adding two blocks of space... Dump truck's coming already. No, no. Oh, it doesn't want... It's kind of snapping. All right, whatever. It's fine. Who cares? That's not a big deal. Okay, move this one. There we go. Okay. So now I should be able to do... That. Okay. So we're going to delete that, and then we're going to change it to that, and we're going to upgrade. Bam, 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 bam. Reverse. 
There we go. Okay, and that's the uh, kind of the module we're going to use. And we'll keep an eye on the traffic. The traffic in here has been better overall. It occasionally gets a little bit backed up here. But ever since I added this extra little exit there, it's been okay. Uh, how are these guys doing? 21, 26, 45, 54. All right, that's going to take a while, but uh, I can delete some of this stuff already, which is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, I want this view right here. I guess I don't need this guy. These guys don't need power. So let's get rid of that power line. Um, everything else should be connected to the grid nicely. My electricity went up because I added a bunch of dump trucks. We can look over here. What's the situation? Oh, uh, they're mostly going straight through and they're getting stopped because of this. I really, I should probably put a roundabout in here. Instead of this. Is that a, that is a traffic light. Um, but, you know, if it's not getting super backed up, it's probably not a huge deal. I'm just going to keep an eye on it. Okay, so there's that one. What about over here? Uh, there's plenty. There's some trucks coming in and out. But it's not super backed up. This is still a problem. We'll deal with that at another time. What about over here? Ooh, this is backed up now. Okay. Uh, I suspect it's this road. Having a problem. All right, and then let's look over here. I did have a, uh, a thought about the traffic. So the traffic is having trouble when these people come on here. And they want to merge lanes with the guys in the left lane. That's what slows things down. It's moving nice right now, but watch when someone tries to merge. Bam, they slow down. Okay, so I think what I might do is change this to a one-lane road. It just says an experiment. We can always change it back if it doesn't work. So I'm going to upgrade you to one lane, only going in. Uh, that's the wrong way. Which means I guess we can get rid of that. Although I probably should have kept it. Although I can put it back. I should probably should have kept it, though. And I probably want this unzoned. Because to, for people to get back here, they'll have to go all the way around. But maybe that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to change this guy to uh, one lane as well. All the way like that. Um, oh, and these guys I will... I am going to unzone these guys on the end here. Because they're just going to have like a big... They're going to have to go all the way down the interstate and back around to get back to their house, basically. Okay. Uh, are you not going to let me do this? Wow. I bet if I just delete it and redraw it, it'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, so this is all one lane. If they need to get around, they can. Uh, this one is still two lane. So maybe we will monitor that to see how that works. Uh, in the future, I might just do more things like this, where we've got a whole highway merge. But you can see that now this is starting to get backed up. Like, no matter what I do, <laughs> we've got traffic somewhere. Oh my goodness, this is backed up now, too. Uh, I added this guy off camera. And it appears to have backed things up. But all this stuff seems rather like it's flowing nicely. This stuff is flowing okay as well. Okay, uh, last thing to do. We should probably move the last of these. Where would I put them? Maybe over here. Maybe just sell a few. And we'll just keep track to see if like people aren't getting their, their trash service. In a reasonable amount of time. Delete that. And that one. Look at that. Clean it up so much. It's going to delete the whole thing. Yeah, that's all the incinerators for that area. And as soon as these trash dumps are done, uh, we can think about the bus depot. Uh, we're going to need more than one. We'll I'll probably have like one. I'll definitely have one. Maybe we'll start over here because it'll be the simplest. We'll put one over here. Uh, and they don't have uh, Metro over here yet anyway. So we need to add Metro. Ooh, we've got some deaths. Healthcare. 
Okay, they've got a, f a cemetery and an incinerator, but it's way over there. My crematorium capacity is pretty darn good. Uh, so I'm going to ignore that problem for a while. But we need to add metro over here, and we'll probably start with the bus routes over here as well. In fact, I might just use this this uh, open space here for the uh, the bus just to get started, and then we'll take what we learned from that and apply it to the rest of the city. Anyway, I, I guess that's about it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Continue leaving your uh, your constructive criticism, your, your thoughts and uh, ideas for the city and how we might improve things. And we'll, we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.